Hi everyone, you're on the 5 Mini AI channel and my name is Mark. Today I will show you how to build own AI agent that can talk to your files in the Google Drive or Superbase. Let me show you how it works. We have some files in our Superbase storage. Also, we have some files in our Google Drive. We uploaded already all these data to Vector Store in the Superbase table and also how it looks like inside. So this is one of the files. It's just some historical facts and different stories. So let us check what Mr. Patent civilization means. We have this interface to talk our bot. It's not included in this guide actually, yeah. But let's ask what is Mr. Patent civilization. And after a few seconds, we have a response, you see. Yeah, and it's based on this file that was uploaded to our Superbase storage. So before we continue, please click like and subscribe on our channel. We have a lot of AI guides that we create weekly. Let's get started. We're gonna start with preparing our Superbase storage. So I hope you already have Superbase account and we will need to create in the storage new bucket. I've already created one, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we have bucket name, for example, it's private. And as you can see, you can make this bucket public or leave it private. For our purpose, just leave it private because our setup is aligned with this type of bucket. Yeah, so after you created this bucket, you can upload files with this button or simply just drop it uh, in this area. I, I've already done it. So let's go to the next step. We need to create special tables in our database. One of them is file. In file, we will keep data about name of the file, Google Drive ID and storage ID from the Superbase. We will provide all SQL queries in our community. So you will be able to simply copy and paste the SQL query to SQL editor to create these tables in one click. And the second table that we will create is document. So each document, it, it's a one piece that we have in a vector format that I'll actually link to some of the files via file ID. To cut files into multiple pieces and store them in a vector store, we need to create special function and also add extension for that in the Superbase. So again, we have prepared SQL query that create extension vector, then it creates table documents, and after that it creates function match documents that will be used for searching documents in this table. That's all from the preparation side. And for Google Drive, you simply need to create folder and store your files there. Let's go back to NA10 and check what we have here. So first scenario is about gathering data from the Superbase storage, parsing it with the YAMA parse, and then storing vectors into documents table. The same we will do with the Google Drive files. And after that, we have another scenario that will let us to talk to our AI agent in the N or in our external special app that I will show you later. So let's check how this workflow for Superbase works. I deleted all documents and files from our tables and also added these two files. One of them is txt file and another one is PDF file to the Superbase storage. So I'm gonna run this scenario and we'll show you how it works step by step. So while we're waiting, processing these files, let me show you how it works. So right now we have a trigger, the trigger manually from, from an attempt scenario, and actually we can replace it with any convenient trigger for you, like webhook or any other event. But as we trigger it from here, we will always process all files that we have in storage without specifying any specific file. So it means that we need to get all files that we already have in the storage, not in the storage, but in our table of files. And yes, yeah, you can see we already have them here and then aggregate them. Why we do that? On the next step, we will get all files from the storage and compare this list of files with the list that already exists in a files table. We want to avoid duplicates and reprocessing files that we already have, but if you don't want to avoid it and if you want to process it every time from scratch, you can simply cut this piece. So as a next step, we will get all files. You can see that we took all files from the 
our storage it always will be one more item and one more item is actually invisible folder so after that we'll look through them check if these files actually not an empty folder placeholder it will have such name and also we check if this data is already exist in aggregated list that was taken from files and if file not exist in this list we gonna process it so how we will process it we will download it first yeah we will you will need to replace this id of the project that you always can find in url of your superbase project and also you will be need to replace credentials in all nodes yeah so when we download it actually you can see that we use some name of the storage that also should be replaced this with private and also again as i mentioned if you will create public one then this step won't work for you and you will need to replace this url yeah so as a next step we downloaded the file itself and we're gonna parse it with yama parse so what is yama parse yama parse lets you parse files it can be very large files as you can see up to 300 megabytes you have a lot of a lot of advanced settings it can process images complex graphs almost everything it's the one of the best parser right now on the market so we will check if the data doesn't exist it means that if you will have for example here file text yes you can see this file is pdf but another one it's a text and in case of text you will have the raw text itself as a data key in this case you don't need to do anything you simply skip all these parsing steps and jump directly to the next step yeah but our file is pdf so we're gonna upload this file to yama parser again you don't need to replace anything here just replace credentials yeah we uploaded this file and then this file will have a status by default it's pending so we need to wait until it will be completed yeah it will have status success so for that we have this switch node that will wait until the status equals pending in, there are two more cases like error and cancel it and in these cases you will just get error and yeah the scenario will be stopped so our file was processed and we get parser data we can retrieve data as json as markdown as a raw text i prefer to use markdown because it's much easier to recognize data for ai for example we have some page separators here we have if you have some tables for example we will have a table structure here with markdown and yeah it works very well with ai so we get this parse data we set up text string yeah we just normalized what we have here when we we merge yeah let me merge it right way. when we will merge it here we will have text key and the value in both cases yeah so one of the cases was the simple text another one parse pdf and both cases works the same way and after that we will be able to use text from this node further before we need to create a record in the file table this one with a name and storage id because it was taken from the superbase and how we're gonna use this storage id actually we're gonna use it here in on if step as you can see we use this storage id to compare it to with list of files from the storage so in case it's already was created we don't need to process it twice yeah and and the last step we simply need to use a vector store node to save this data to documents yeah we have the query name it's match documents that we the query function that we already created in the superbase nothing special here we map text from the merge text node and basically that's all as you can see we created a lot of vectors in our table it's uh, more than 700 of them and our long text actually split it into multiple pieces and each of them has own vector representation if you want to more cool guides like this one check out our 5 min ai pro community we gathered a lot of ai agents and ai automations workflow for na10 and also we have a really cool global course 
where we teach people how to build secure and scalable applications with Volbo in a couple of weeks. So that's all for Superbase. Let's jump to Google Drive. As you can see, we have similar process. We have YAML parse part where we parsing data with YAML parse. We have a part where we store this data to documents table and also we have like we download in the file how it works you need to open your folder and simply drop your file here it will trigger this file created node it will get like file we need to get file id and name like file id extension actually we don't need extension right now and here we're gonna like delete old document records using drive file id from the metadata what it means because we have file update trigger here it means that you can edit your files for example it might be a google doc and uh, after updating this workflow will be triggered automatically and we need to re-upload all vectors that we have and it means that we need to delete existing records first of all on the last step i will show you how it works yeah so after we deleted all existing records we're gonna download the file itself and then again use upload file do all the same steps set text that was parsed create file and here we're gonna save google drive id yeah this one that was taken here and on the last step we're gonna change it a bit and add additional metadata tags one of them is drive file id this one and exactly this is how deleting works so for example right now we have some documents created in our table let me show you them so we have a metadata and here we have a drive file id so every time you updated your document we will do search through this table and find all files where drive file id equals your file id yeah from the google drive and just wipe them yeah as you can see we use this string and after wiping we will just re-upload it again this is how it works also i forgot to mention that we use this google file conversion it means that you can upload google docs google drawings google slides and even google sheets and we simply convert uh, all of them to pdf and send it to yama parse and yama parse can parse any mm, type of data as i said before like graphs images and tables so we already tested it and it works really well with all kind of data yeah so don't limit yourself with the types that you can upload to the google drive okay so let's check how the last and the most important step works our ai agent so actually we integrated it with our gpt low code dev tool you can go to our website sign up and set up your own ai agent to talk with this cool interface without this n interface actually you can store multiple agents here and switch between them and with this yeah how to do that you just simply need to set up webhook on n like this one it should be post it should be respond when last node finishes and yeah we need to copy production url set up all this stuff that i'm going to show you right now and simply paste it here add name and it will be added to your private list and nobody can use it please unless you will make it public and after that it will be available in this list and you'll be able to switch between them and also if you set up the same memory for all your ai agents it will become multi-agent system so any agent will have access to memory of another agent and you can do very interesting actions with that so how an attend setup works here we i tried to trigger it with our chat like internal chat as you can see we have these inputs like session id and chat input our message so and from the webhook we will always have two inputs it's again session id and message yeah it will be in the json body so if you want to use our solution we need to normalize two different inputs that's why we use set node and as you can see i just simply map session id and chat input with the required message and session id keys after that i will set up them here like merge message so we will send our message to this ai agent also you can specify different system message 
what I use in my prompts. Uh, it keyword important, it's uppercase. That's how I force AI do what I actually need. And it works pretty well. Don't try to overload your prompt. Based on my experience, it works really bad. Yeah, so what AI agent actually do, it use OpenAI model. You can change it to different chat mod model, but not all of them can trigger tools that we use here. Also, we have a memory where we provide our session ID. This way you can be sure that AI agents will remember what you talked before. I would prefer use Postgres memory. You can add it like that and it will be stored. It might be stored again in your Superbase. For example, here I have messages, as you can see in N10 chat histories. And I simply need to set up credentials defined below key and table name. So for the key, we simply need to map this one merge and the session ID. Yeah. So, and the last one, it's a tool. We use Superbase vector store tool where we specify knowledge base, it's a function name, a short description, our table name, it's documents, and we, you can increase limit or decrease it based on your cases. Sometimes it might not work. Yeah, and it then have some bugs. So if it don't, doesn't work for you, you need to add this vector store question answer tool. And after that, you can add like vector store. Yeah, actually in this, another one this one add model and yeah add model here yeah this way it might work for you just keep in mind yeah so this is how it works again let's test it with our chat tool just save it and ask some question about mother gods what is mother gods and we got our response and how our tool works for example i can add youtube agent and say please find me videos about mother gods and as you can see it found some videos i don't think that this is what was in our text about history but this is how our tool works within one window you can talk to multiple agents perform different actions if you want to use it it's free just check our website check our community we have a lot of ai guides and we'll be glad to see you on our next videos about ai agents and about ai content generation have a good day bye